Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It's Dan here from Sports Cards UK. And in today's video, we have a PSA opening. So we've got a small amount of cards. So it should be a fairly short video. About roughly 10 uh, cards in this submission. And if you did see my Southampton video, which was the previous video to this, uh, you'll know actually we've opened one of these already. So it is the top card. I'm going to show you it there. It is the Ica Bravo PSA 10 5 of 5. Uh, really, really cool card. It's not really someone that's kind of kicked on as much, but he's still only like, well, he was born in, no way was he born. 2005? Oh God, I feel old. 2005, that's insane. So yeah, he's still very, very young. Only 18, something like that. Um, but yeah, PSA 10 of a future stars. He doesn't have a rookie card, so I think this is his first tops chrome. It is the sapphire. Sapphire red just goes mad, and it's number five of five. Not much more else to say about that. I paid about 20 quid for the card, 20 quid for get for it to get graded. If he turns out to be nothing, 40 pound loss. Who cares? But look at the look, look at that. How good that card looks. Color match with the uh, the PSA there as well. Some stuff didn't get graded, but well, actually, it didn't it didn't not get graded? I need some more people to send off vintage, basically, for my vintage stuff to go through. Otherwise, it's going to get quite expensive, and I don't want to send off like a small amount of cards. I have seen the top grades, so you'll have to forgive me because it was very tough to not. Right, I'm going to put them. I'm going to have to put them over there and not look. I, it's been so long in, in doing one of these, I've forgotten how to do them. Right, Yusuf Mukoku. I'm just going to do it so I can't see out of my peripherals. I'm just going to put the box there. Right, Yusuf Mokoku Zebra. Color match with the black and white Germany shirt. This is number 225, 13 to 25. I did see it. And it got a 10, baby. PSA 10. Very, very nice. Um, Mukoku sort of fell, fell off the face of the earth since the age thing. Um, but, I mean, Martin, I sold a card to Martin. And if you've seen my Southampton video, that was a Mukoku gold rookie. I mean, comps were like $50 for a, a gold rookie to 50 PSA 10. Absolutely disgusting. Completely in the mud, but I still believe. Right, next up. Just go like this. Oh my God, this is so... Hopefully you didn't see that and that was off camera. Right, we have another... Uh... We have another use of Mukoku. This is the white. Is this number lower? It is. It's number to 20. What was the zebra number to? 25. So this is number to 20. Again, it's a kind of a color match with the uh, the white. You've got the black and white of the kit and you've got the black and white of the uh, card. See what it got. PSA 9. Not too bad. I'll take a PSA 9 on this. These select cards are genuinely quite tough to grade, to be honest, especially the field level. I'm hearing that the field levels are coming back 8s and 9s mostly. So if you get a 10 on the field level, decent. Um, but yeah. Not too, uh, not too shabby for this one. Just decided to put on a hat because I realised I just had the craziest hair. I've just been working all day, and then uh, I'm like, "Damn, what are you doing? You look like an absolute freak of nature, mate." Right. Um, oh, this is a big one. Colo Mawani, rookie card. This is Obsidian. I've had no luck with selling Obsidian stuff recently. People just seem to hate it. If you like Obsidian. Let me know down in the description because the prices of Obsidian is an expensive box. It's a premium box from what I can see, but it doesn't sell like a premium set at all. People seem to hate it, but this is number two, 10. So it's number five of 10. See what it got. Ooh, nine. Okay, I'm all right with the nine. I'm actually all right with the nine. These are going to be really tough grades. These sort of gold foil, gold flood cards. Um, nine for me. Absolutely fine. I don't mind that at all. Right. We have another Colo Moani. This is the black gold tops chrome. I think this is number two. 30? Five of 30. Both of them are five of five of 10, five of 30. There we go. Um, rookie card. Again, tops chrome. Really nice. Kind of goes with the kit. It's a bit of a color match. And it got PSA 9. Don't mind. Again, really, really don't mind. PSA 9s on these, number to 10, number to 30, I, I am all right with. Obviously, the PSA 10 is going to demand uh, a lot more value, but yeah, not too fast. I'm, I'm okay with that. Gabri Vega, again, another player that's fallen off the face of the earth. He is, I think he's a mid, is he a centre defensive midfielder? I'm pretty sure it was, a midfielder at least, um, I, I think, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I mean, he's... Um, he was picked to be the next best thing, kind of fell off the face of the earth. 
But I thought, why not? I'll just pick one card up. Got a Genesis, really, really cheap. So I thought I'd grade it. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's a nice one. That's turned into a nice card. PSA 10, Gabri Vega, rookie. Um, he, I'm pretty sure he only... His, this mosaic is his only rookie. So if you can get a Genesis or a one of one um, of Gabri Vega from this mosaic set in the future, if you believe in Gabri Vega, then who knows? This could be a good card. Right. Next up, oh, I did that so fast. Maybe you'd be able to see if you can slow-mo, see if you saw the grade there. Kochku, this is the true black tops chrome. So we saw the black gold, which is number to 30. This is the true black. This is number to 10. So this is of um, Orkan Kochku. He is playing for Feyenoord here. This is number 10 of 10 as well. So pretty crazy card. And it's, it's 10 of 10 and he's number 10. So yeah. Pretty, pretty cool. It's the uh, jersey number, double jersey number, and it's the uh, the black card, which does go... It's basically colour match with the uh, with everything that you can see on here, which looks really, really cool. So he is recently playing for Benfica. I think it is now. He moved from Feyenoord to Benfica. He was captain of Feyenoord, um, and he's a, obviously a rookie from this year's Tops Chrome. Looks to be a very, very good player. I'd like to see him in the Premier League. Definitely like to see him at Fulham, but I don't think he... Uh, I think he's probably a bit big for us, but let's see. PSA 7. Now, that's not great, obviously, um, but it is number to 10. It's going to be the jersey number. So, yeah, it's not great, but I'm actually, for a PSA 7, I'd, I'm not actually... Maybe I'm just in a really good mood. Like, that would probably normally annoy me, but I'm saying the reason it doesn't is there's only going to be one uh, 10 of 10. So anything lower numbered than 10 is not going to be a jersey number. So this is the lowest, technically the lowest jersey number card he can have, if you think about it, because his one of one obviously isn't going to be a jersey number. That's going to be massive anyway. Um, but yeah, it's 10 of 10. He's number 10, blah, 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 blah. You get it. Seven, I don't care. I'll just hold on to this. Um, that weirdly just hasn't annoyed me at all. I'll, t I'll take it. I'll take it. Why am I saying I'll take it? It's a PSA 7. I do, I, yeah, genuinely, I don't mind. It'll stay in the PC. Right, we've got this. Uh, I picked this up from the London Card Show from Josh Grassroots Card. Shout out. Uh, this is the promotional sample card. You can see it's this promotional sample card there at the bottom. Uh, this is a Lionel Messi. Let's see what it got. There you go. PSA 10, 2017 Tops Chrome. Now, you'd think 2017 Tops Chrome, this is probably worth a lot of money. They're really not. They're pretty cheap cards. Obviously, I've uh, I've increased the value from having it raw to a PSA 10. But yeah, not, actually really not that an expensive card at all. So this will probably stay in the PC because I don't really PC Messi, but he's the best player in the world. So I do feel like you kind of got to keep uh, a couple of cards of his just to, uh, to marvel at. Right, next up we have uh, Enzo Fernandez. This is a, a national debut out of the Tops Argentina set. It's the uh, sticker auto. I don't think it's numbered. No, I think it's just the base. PSA 8, not ideal. I was going to sell that one. Um, so a PSA 8 isn't obviously ideal for the resale. But, you know, that'll probably go cheap now for anyone that wants an Enzo auto. Hopefully the next one does a bit better. Um, it's going to be a, probably a tough grade because of all of that chrome that you can see there. All that foil. Uh, this is number to 100. It's an Inzaghi auto. I've never owned an Inzaghi auto. I don't really PC Inzaghi, but I sometimes like to pick things up and say I've owned them once. And this kind of uh, Inzaghi auto is is it, really. That's uh, It was just one to tick off the list. And I've done these two in a trade out of cards that I've had for quite a while. So let's see what I got. PSA 9. I'm all right with a PSA 9. Um, it's a nice auto, to be fair. It's, a, it's pretty... Uh, Swirly auto there from Minzaghi, but PSA 9, not too shabby, Alonso. Right, let's see what's up next. Elise Ben Sagir. Now, I need a 10 on this, really, because I've wasted money sending this off. He's a very, very good player, but you shouldn't really be sending off stuff that's numbered to 299. You should be looking at really kind of 50 and below, unless it's some someone like Messi or something like that. But yeah, stuff that's numbered to 299, pretty stupid of me to send this off. But, again, I must have been in a kind of a colour match type mood. This colour match, this red shimmer does look really, really nice with the Monaco kit. He is pipped to be one of the best rookies from this set. So, he's definitely one to look out for. And his prices have pretty much already baked in. Um, but we do need a 10 on this. Otherwise, it's probably worth less than the raw. 
oh thank god okay so we did get a 10 on this that's not too bad so it's a really really nice looking card but it is number to 299 so there's a lot of these in the world i think at the moment the merlin is his only rookie um he was kind of like a merlin merlin exclusive rookie but um yeah i mean that is decent we'll take that right now for the final card this is a big one this is a pretty big one. So we got a National Treasures, Neymar Jr. Auto. My first Neymar Jr. Auto. With the patch. It's a match-worn patch. You can see enclosed match-worn slash used material and autograph. Guaranteed by Panini America. Now, I'm hoping for a 9 on this. Um, I don't think it's going to get a 10 because National Treasures are really, really difficult to grade. An 8 is probably all right. It's number to 25, by the way. It's number 9 of 25. Yeah, 25. Let's see what we got. Fingers crossed. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that just does it. I'm, I'm, that's like the last submission. I'm just saving it to the end. Wow. Gem Mint 10. National Treasures. Now, that's going to be low pop, I imagine, because National Treasures is a tough, tough, tough grade. Um... I've seen a lot of nines. Obviously, I didn't grade the auto. The auto, you can see, is a little bit off sticker. So there was no point grading the auto. But the fact I got a gem mint 10 is wicked. I picked this up in a trade. So I actually traded away. And this was at the London Card Show as well. I sent all of these off at the London Card Show. These four, actually. Um, knocking the camera here. Well, these five, even. These were all London Card Show pickups um, from not the last London Card Show, but the, the card show before that. So those were all pickups from the London Card Show. Um, three tens, a nine, and an eight. Pretty good going, to be honest. Um, I don't really know why this got an eight, because it's a paper card. There must have been something seriously wrong with it, but we'll, we'll check that. Well, I'm clinking glasses and all sorts. I'm a little bit flustered. But yeah, PSA 10, uh, this was massive. I traded away to finish off the sentence that I just cut myself. I always do that. Finish off the sentence. Um, I traded away a Jao Felix eminence on card auto and then it was like 15 quid and then i don't know i randomly wanted 15 quid and then uh a trent alexander arnold 2018 tops chrome really random why we couldn't just do a straight trade but there we go um and then yeah i mean to get this in a psa 10 now is 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 sick that's so so cool so there we are obvious obvious highlights is going to be that neymar um the the messy is obviously a really nice one this we got lucky on we have a few sevens and eights so you've kind of got some mixed reactions i do apologize um if uh if you kind of didn't see me run off or cry or anything um i'm in a kind of a I, the, the time of filming this video um i've i've been in margate for two weeks i've been then i've gone sh i've come back on the thursday flown out to dublin on the friday then I've had the Southampton card shows, the weekend's just gone. I've also filmed the video with Mark, which would have been out by now as well. And then I've got Milton Keynes this weekend. It, I'm just kind of, I'm in such a good mood because there's loads of stuff and there's loads of cards and I'm, I'm all carded, uh, carded up at the minute. I don't know what that means. But I, I, am abs I just feel like absolutely exhausted with all these card shows at the minute, all these kind of back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back card shows. And I know that Margate's got nothing to do with card shows, but... I just feel like I haven't had a weekend break um, in like a month. So yeah, I, I, the reactions, I don't even know what, what reactions, I don't know. I feel like I've lost the will to live a little bit, but there we are. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, you know what to do. Smash a big like on the video. Um, let me know what your favorite card from this submission is. And I will see you on the next PSA graded card submission. Thanks very much. Thank you.